Amsterdam's distinct districts radiate from its centre canal ring and are comprised of complicated networks of streets lined with one-of-a-kind stores, quaint restaurants and cafes, bustling pubs and wide green spaces. Each of these overlapping districts has an own personality and attractions. Wherever you choose to stay, Amsterdam's compact layout and integrated network of bike paths, trams, buses and trains make it simple to see the city in a single trip. Our guide to Amsterdam's greatest neighbourhoods covers everything from top retail areas to the best spots for first-time tourists to stay. The Vondel Park, a gorgeous sprawl of English-style gardens, cafes and an open-air theatre, is a breath of fresh air just steps away from the hectic Leidzep line. Lawns also cover the grassy expanse of neighbouring Museumplein, which houses Amsterdam's top three museums, the National Treasure Chest Rijksmuseum, the flagship Van Gogh Museum and the modern and contemporary art hub Stedelijk Museum. Opposite Museumplein, the Concert Gabor provides classical music events in 19th century splendour. Surrounding Vondelpark are some of Amsterdam's top value-for-money locations to stay at various price points, including numerous conscious hotels hotels. South of Vondelpark, residential neighbourhoods give way to sparkling glass and steel structures in the fast-rising commercial zone known as Zuid, South. Shiny new hotels make it a popular area for business visitors to stay, but with excellent transportation links that take you to the city centre in minutes, it's also a terrific choice for vacationers. The Oud West, Old West, located west of the Jordan and north of Vondelpark, is a bustling, gentrifying neighbourhood with some of the city's greatest culinary options. The Food Hallen, which has experimental Dutch and foreign food and drink stalls, arranged around a common dining space, is a fantastic place to start. It's located in the De Hallen Cultural Complex in converted tram sheds. De Klerkstraat, Bilderdijkstraat and Jan Peter Heijerstraat are other excellent dining destinations. The Green Wester Park is located farther north in Amsterdam's west, connected to the city centre via Haarlemmerstraat and its western extension Haarlemmerdijk, both of which are densely populated with food shops and restaurants. Former gasworks next to the park have been transformed into the Westergasfabriek cultural complex, which includes a variety of restaurants, pubs and the craft brewery Brauwergy Trust. This location is frequently used for food markets and festivals. Hip hostels and motels may be found across the city's west, as well as attractive establishments like houseboat B&Bs and ancient bridge keepers' homes. Modern hotels are springing up along the IJ riverfront. Amsterdam's majestic central station is built on an artificial island in the broad IJ river. With trains arriving from the airport, the country and foreign places, this Gothic-style monument is likely to serve as your first exposure to the city. Walking south from the station takes you into the medieval centre, which is full with busy tourist streets, commercial districts and historic landmarks. Amsterdam was built in the 13th century on what is now Dam, a sprawling plaza dominated by the royal palace. Many canal-viewing excursions departed Damrak, the ancient mouth of the Amstel River. The Red Light District, also known as De Wallen in Damrak, is located on the city's eastern side. As municipal officials implement attempts to control its wilder side, the district remains notorious, at least for the time being, for its canal-side brothel windows and concentration of coffee shops, cannabis cafes, clashing with tourist stores and numerous bars. The 1306 Ode Kirk, Old Church, Amsterdam's oldest structure, stands incongruously in the centre. The 1,488 built WAG, located east on Neumarkt, Newmarket, was once a city wall entrance that later became the city's wayhouse. Rembrandt lived and painted nearby. His original home and studio are now home to the illuminated museum Het Rembrandtwies. Accommodation options abound in the city centre, ranging from hostels and inexpensive hotels to five-star luxury. The Green Plantage, located just a short walk from the town, is a calm retreat. If you're travelling with kids, this area offers plenty to keep everyone occupied. On the Amstel, the Amsterdam Museum offers a glimpse into the city's past and present. Across from the 17th-century Hortus Botanicus Floral Gardens, mainland Europe's oldest zoo, 
the artist Royal Zoo, has the world's only museum dedicated to germs, the mind-blowing Micropia. Inquiring young minds will also enjoy Nemo, an interactive science museum housed in a unique boat-shaped green copper structure with panoramic views from its deck-like top. Amsterdam's adjacent eastern docklands and islands with repurposed shipping warehouses are inextricably tied to its seafaring history, which is covered at the kid-friendly maritime museum Het Sheepvaart Museum. The Plantage region is anchored by mid-range hotels that are well-suited for families. Self-catering flats are a convenient alternative. Ye's maritime site is housed inside an ancient steam engine factory. Outdoorsy families would enjoy camping up at Camping Zeeburg Amsterdam, which also features colourful cottages. If you're enjoying this video and want to stay updated with all the latest travel content on my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Your support means the world to me, so join our community and let's dive into the video together. The pace slows as one moves from the city centre to the western edge of Amsterdam's UNESCO-listed canal ring. This is one of the most beautiful portions of the city, guarded by the bell tower of the elegant 17th-century church Westerkirk. One of Amsterdam's most notable historical sites, the Anne Frank Huys, is located near the Westerkirk. Here the young diarist and her family hid from the Nazis during Watu. Some of Amsterdam's most intriguing shopping is located on the Western Canal Ring's Negenstraatjes, a tic-tac-toe board of nine little streets lined with small, specialised businesses. Crossing Prinsengracht from here takes you to the Jordaan, Amsterdam's evocative old workers' area, complete with narrow lanes and charming homes. The Jordaan features even more interesting businesses, particularly fashion, antiques and Dutch design, as well as fantastic weekly markets like the Lindengracht Market. When you need a break from shopping, visit one of the Jordaan's wood-panelled Bruin cafes, brown cafes or typical Dutch pubs. The Western Canal Ring is dominated by exclusive boutique hotels. While there are some more cheap choices near the Jordaan, options in these desirable neighbourhoods are limited. The Southern Canal Ring, located just south of the city centre, is one of Amsterdam's most popular entertainment areas. The neon-lit Leidseplein and Rembrandtplein are surrounded by vibrant bars, clubs and restaurants. Utrechtsestraat offers more refined hangouts, while Reguliersdwarstraat is Amsterdam's flagship LGBTQ plus street. This stretch of the canal ring has some of the city's most picturesque waterways, such as the Golden Bend, bordered by magnificent Golden Age houses, and Reguliersgracht, known for its stunning seven bridges. There are plenty of hostels around Leitzerplein and Rembrandtplein. Many of the neighbourhood's boutique and design hotels are located in lovely canal homes. Amsterdam Nord, Amsterdam North, located across the IJ from the city centre and accessible straight from Central Station via a short free ferry journey, is one of the city's most intriguing areas. The NDSM old shipyards are home to street art, chic cafes made of repurposed materials, and the enormous warehouse NDSM Ludes, which houses functioning artist studios. On this side of the river, notable landmarks include the Angular White Eye Film Institute and the Dam Tower, a former oil company office building with unusual attractions, such as a virtual reality roller coaster, a vertiginous giant swing over the observation deck's upper ledge, a hotel, and breathtaking views of Amsterdam. Other intriguing locations to stay in the neighbourhood include a hostel in a 1920s laboratory, pods in a deconsecrated church, luxury apartments in an industrial crane and floating hotels. Depipi, located between Museumplein, the Southern Canal Ring and the Amstel River, exudes a village-like atmosphere. It is home to the historic brewery that now houses the multi-sensory Heineken experience, but the real reason to visit this vibrant neighbourhood is to explore its creative cafes and all-day brunch spots, restaurants, bars and boutiques, as well as to browse the city's largest street market, the Albert Kuipmarkt. Join the residents in shopping for anything from bike locks to textiles, flowers and fresh fruit, and bring a picnic to De Peep's tranquil Safati Park. As a primarily residential region, accommodation options are limited, 
but there are a few pleasant mid-range hotels and bed and breakfasts, as well as some high-end residences on the southern outskirts. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash that like button, leave a comment with your thoughts, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.